In this video, we are going to be looking at the ASP.NET login controls. Uh, the login controls are used to allow only registered users to get access to protected content on our website. So uh, from here on, you'll be able to create a uh, website which are protected for members only. Uh, you can create a registration process and login system by using these controls. Users will be able to register, they will be able to log in to change their passwords and uh, have the ability to view different content based on the, uh, on the configuration and the authentication and their roles on the website. Uh, we will be discussing six login controls which can be used. And these controls are the create user wizard, uh, the login control, the login status control, login name, uh, login view and the change password controls. Uh, the functions of these controls are discussed uh, below. Uh, we have the create user wizard control which as its name suggests it will allow you to display a user registration form on the website which will be used to register the user before users are allowed to access your website. So uh, if you have a protected content on your website and uh, the user cannot log in, so they cannot log in because they have to register first. So you will use the create user wizard to uh, to create the uh, registration form that the user can use before they can get access to your website. We also have the login control which is used to display a simple login form. Uh, I'm sure you've uh, seen this so many times on the page where they prov uh, provide you with a username text box and a password text box. So you click on the login button and you log in. So the login control will allow you to display a simple login form on the page the user will use to authenticate themselves before getting access to some content on the website. Uh, we also have the login status control, which this control has two status. Uh, it displays a log out link if the user is logged in and a login link if the user is logged out. So it's a very simple uh, control. So you just drag it to your page and if the user is currently logged out, it will display a login link. So it's going to tell them to, so it has to view. So it displays a login view if the user is logged out and a logout view if the user is logged in. Uh, another control is the login name. Uh, the login name is a very simple control as well. It's, what it does is just display the username of the user where the user is logged in. So if a user is logged into your website, uh, it will display the username of the user. Otherwise, it will display nothing. So I'm sure you've sent out on a website where they say oh, welcome and they put your name in front of it. So you can use the uh, login name control to actually uh, state the name of the user. So if the user is called Michael, you can say welcome Michael. So um, the login view control is used to control the content that is displayed to the user based on their authentication status. If the user is logged in, he or she will see a different content and if the user is logged out, he or she will see a different content. So what this does, the login view control allow you to uh, have two templates. So the, t the first template is for the user that are not currently authenticated. They're not currently authenticated. So that means that they're not logged in. So you can say, you can have a message that say, please click on the link below to log in. Then when the user has finally logged in, then you can tell the user, oh, now you're logged in, you can have access to all this content. So you can have two different content for the authenticated user and for anonymous user. The people that are not currently logged into our website are called the anonymous user because we do not know who they are. So and lastly, we're going to be talking about the change passwords, which as its name suggests, the control is used to display a simple form that will allow our users to change their password on the website. So we're going to be looking at all these simple controls and uh, from here on you'll be able to create uh, a website that will be password protected so that uh, some uh, and you and as you can and see we'll see in the uh, upcoming videos you will not have to write any line of code in order to do all this process all of them are just drag and drop you just have to uh, configure their properties from the property window and most of them are just uh, 
usable out of the box so let's go ahead now and um, start using this control i'll see you in the next video thank you